Let's look at the highlights of uh, the first half, an intriguing, enthralling first half. First opportunity came Auckland's way. Yamoreira with an intelligent run, got across to Ilao, the shot straight into the arms of Chica Mansale. Five minutes later, Ryan De Vries had an opportunity, but again, good goalkeeping from Mansale. He didn't panic, he stayed completely still, got his positioning right. Good power this to hold off Toloni, but uh, no panicking from Mansale. Amakel then uh, had this really good chance from Tangis. A wonderful save from Williams. The first of uh, a couple from him, the All Whites goalkeeper. Tangis got uh, plenty of power on it. It was an awkward one. Issa just managed to get slightly the better of Vicilic and Tangis with the shot. It was deflected away with one hand. 60 seconds later, Sani Issa. Look at this, and he's managed to get free here. Look, there's no one. No one marking him. It was a free shot on goal. Auckland weren't to be uh, denied though. They had an opportunity through Ivan Vicilic with the header. This was an awkward one. Vicilic looking for his goalkeeper to come out. He didn't come out. He brought him down and then look at that. Colin Marshall of all the players on the pitch here you would think would score from a penalty. Sees it saved by Tamari Williams. Gets a big hug from his skipper. And then with five minutes to go before the break, Tade draws this wonderful save out from Chico Mansale. He just found a pocket of space to go into and the shot was excellent. The save equaled it. Vesalic again against uh, Sani Issa, Tangis. Arrived late. It was real Route 1 stuff from Amikel. And then bang on half time. Sani Issa took advantage of a recalibrating Auckland defence and Tangis with the header beyond Williams. They took it quickly and they caught Auckland City on the hop. You can see here the two centre halves for Auckland just getting into the six yard box and then Tangis just drifted in unmarked and bulleted the header into the back of the net. So here are the highlights of uh, second half and look at this this was a uh, Jack Whitney good defending from Andrew Milne Issa and Vicilic fell that was another big chance for me in 66 minutes Auckland got level Chika Mansale got into a tangle with the Sava Nungaletha and Ryan De Vries was on hand to lash the ball on the volley into the back of an empty net 1-1 17 minutes to go, Amakel on the counter-attack. They managed to get the better of Auckland here through Francois Sakama. Cut inside Bielan and Irving, but the shot was just wide and only just wide. Sakama just kept his head here. Look at this, cuts in on that right foot. Not far away. And Amakel went close again. Vicilic robbed the ball off uh, the foot of Kenzie Tangis. And then Vasilic from a long distance. One touch with the left foot. He managed to keep the shot down. And it just swerved wide. With nine minutes to go, Amakel was still knocking on the door. Kenzie Tangis, that was a wonderful shot. First touch was excellent. The second touch was superb. The goalkeeping was equal to it, and so was the post, thankfully from an Auckland perspective, and unfortunately from an Amakel one. A magnificent save from Williams. Four minutes to go. The defining moment of the season, coming right up. David Brown spots De Vries. First touch from De Vries. First touch from Tade was simply superb. What a finish. You have to say the quality of the finish was of the highest order from the Argentine striker. And Chica Mansale didn't have a hope. It was just hit too firmly. Nathan, a, a disappointing finish to what's been a great campaign for Ami Carl. Can you give us your thoughts on that match? Uh, 
for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm speechless. One, I've lost my voice, but uh, you know, my boys gave it uh, absolutely everything out there today, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm very, very proud to be honest. I thought our performance for uh, the whole game was fantastic. We put them under pressure. We scored a good goal. We had countless chances. Um, I'm disappointed with the refereeing because it's a straight red, in my opinion. Um, they, they get a man down to 10 men with with 60 minutes to go, and it's a different ball game. We're on top, and I thought today we could have got a few more past them. So um, it was a very good campaign. I think you saw the two best teams in the final. Um, we gave them a great match here today, and. Uh, yeah, just a lot of emotions at the moment, disappointment, um, anger because, as I said, I felt it was a red card, but um, that's football, I guess. We're going to move on, and and uh, congratulations to Auckland City. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Congratulations, Ramon, and excellent finish to what's been an interesting campaign for your Auckland City side. I imagine you're pretty happy with that final result. We have to be, you know, I mean... Let me pay all credit to Amikale. I think they were a fantastic rival and they, they would have deserved it anyway, you know. Uh, we were the lucky side. We, we, we came back from a very, on a very difficult game, you know. We came back from that uh, first goal they scored in the second half. I think the game was very even. It could have gone both ways and we were the lucky team uh, taking it, you know. So obviously we, we are very, very happy with it. Um, the, the score, I mean, at halftime, 1-0 down. What, what do you say to the boys in the changing room at, at a time like that in such a crucial match? I think it's just about belief, you know, belief in what we're doing. Uh, we had created quite a few chances in the first half. Unfortunately, we didn't score them, you know. So just belief and we changed uh, a couple of things that we thought it could have benefited us. And, you know, you never know. Some, sometimes these games are, are not really tactical. They are more just uh, heart and uh, guts, <laughs> you know what I mean? And going right to the end, you know. And, and again, they, they win exactly the same thing. So I think... You know, we, we were the lucky team, we scored that goal, it was a great goal from Tari and you know, I think the effort and the credit goes to the players because they've been with us, especially with those players who have been with us all season, you know, it's been a very difficult season for us, we've lost a lot of players uh, in different uh, stages of the season and it's really hard, you know, to, to get back together and keep doing what we do, you know? so for me all the, all the credit goes to our players, they're, they're unbelievable. So um, ahead is the Club World Cup in Morocco for uh, Yet again, <laughs> what what are you what are you planning to do? Um, I mean, you'll have a break, I guess, and then back into it. I'm not planning to do anything right now. You know? <laughs> I'm just thinking about celebrating this, you know, enjoying this because it's been a very long season, very tough. We have won everything, and uh, we have to celebrate. I think right now is about celebrating, and we'll think about what we do, you know, in a few weeks' time. Great. Thanks very much, Ramon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Auckland City are champions, they're worthy champions. David Chung, the OFC president, FIFA vice president, hands it over to Ivan Vesilic.